Hey guys, so we got Kiara in this one. Um, personally, love this style. I'll be linking her down in the description. So just make sure you go give her a follow. Let her know you found her through uh, this tutorial. What I love about her style is the smoothness and the contrast she has. There's obviously a lot of blues and greens and oranges in her image but it's quite vibrant like i said really smooth we are working with this image so we've got the raw image and we are recreating this edit so links down in the description guys and she is a guest editor inside the course so she takes you through i think three images her start to finish process of how she edits her photos uh, you get the raw image you get the preset to follow along and she's a great teacher she does great lessons on how she edits and you can learn from her yourself her links down in the description make sure you go give her a follow and yeah let her know you found her through this tutorial <laughs> photographer and content creator from Italy. I'm from Rome to be more specific, pretty sure you know the place and I didn't know a thing about photography theory, uh, technical things, lenses, editing. I used to shoot in JPEG back then, uh, yeah shame on me and also I started posting on Instagram using Instagram filters to edit my photos. Uh, I know guys I'm guilty, a lot of clarity was going on but I was just learning and I was actually super driven so I started binge watching videos on YouTube and of course I found Martin's YouTube channel I fell in love with it I learned so much I think I've been following him from the very beginning of my photography journey so when he asked me to join this course as a guest editor I was like oh my god is this happening is it even real am I dreaming is this a joke I double checked the email just to be sure, just in case, and everything was real, so here I am. I'm super excited. Thank you, Martin, so much for this opportunity to share my story and my digital workflow. Hope you guys enjoy the class and learn something useful for you. And yeah, I think I'm done talking, so let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so let's make this one look like this one, settings 35mm, uh, ISO 100, 1.4, bringing a focus to the subject 1.4, otherwise nothing too special about settings. A touch underexposed, exposing for the highlights there. So let's brighten. Now we look a little green, so let's just white balance some purples and let's warm it up a bit as before and after just slightly white balanced okay so we can't see the sky so let's bring down the highlights um, shadows maybe up a bit so we're gonna need to turn on the curves because this is what's gonna give us all that fade and a lot of the tones like the curves play a big role in this one so uh, this one is adding that fade to the bottom so as you can see no fade and then we get that fade and then here we just got a few tones getting placed into the image so we've got a bit more blue and less cyan so there's a lot of blue getting put into the image with the curves here so that's all that's happening with the curves we've got mm, about the same contrast but there's that nice fade pretty heavy fade coming in yeah that's the curves there and as you can see we're very much there now we're going to bring down the clarity for like a softening to the image Hey guys, so this is what Kiara said about the course. So she's made her way through the course and here's what she thinks and who she thinks the course is for. Hey guys, I'm Chiara. I'm a digital designer, outdoor photographer and content creator based in Italy. And I'm very happy to share my review about the Instagram Pro Editor course by Martin that I actually just finished. I was really looking forward to joining this course because I basically love everything about about Martin's content and I already knew he was a great teacher with this nice analytic approach. He's really focused on the reasons why he does these or that while editing. I mean, you can check yourself his YouTube channel. He just gives a lot. And of course, you can find a lot of good and free content online. I mean, I'm the first one jumping from a video to another, but in my opinion, this kind of practice is also time consuming when you really want to learn 
consistently a new skill, a new thing. Um, so yeah, I prefer uh, joining a course, a good course like this one, especially if I already trust and love the creator and I kind of know it's gonna worth it. So yeah, learning from a well-organized and structured course for me is way, way better. And especially if you're trying to build your own style and aesthetic, this course is what you want because <laughs> it's just full disclosure. You have everything you need in just one place. And I also think that the only way to not only mastering a skill, but also enjoying the creative process is is to know at least a little bit about the science behind the art. And in my opinion, that's true for whatever kind of art we are talking about. I need science because I want to understand, to fully understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing the thing that I do. <laughs> I don't want to get to the result just because I move around Lightroom sliders and pray and let's see what happens. I mean, Sometimes surprises happen anyways, but trust me, I was so impressed with the tone curve section. I didn't think so much could have been said about the tone curves. And actually that's such a good thing because a lot of people struggle with the curves, with the meaning of the curves. And yeah, you're gonna love it. And you're going to love also the, the color theory. Um, it's incredible in how many ways you can combine the colors and consciously choose the tones that you want. Okay, I don't want to spoil too much, but I have to say this. Um, I kind of consider myself an advanced user. I don't want to say it too out loud. But during the course, I found myself many times thinking, Wow, I, I've never noticed that. Uh, that's a really cool tip. So you have all these little tips, hidden features that for me, this kind of knowledge made me feel more confident about my knowledge about the software and my editing skills. So I think no matter what your skill level is right now, you're going to learn anyway the amount of knowledge in just one place is huge and also the combination of theory lessons and the guest editor section is so helpful and so interesting because you see how many different artists can use the same tool in many many different ways and last but not least i think it's really important uh, martin is keeping updating the course and adding uh, new lessons based on the community feedback so yeah i think is really doing a great job so again if you're considering buying the course my advice is go for it uh, it's totally worth it you have my blessing and have fun uh, maybe vibrance down, just dull the colors a little bit. Let's bring up blacks. So slight skin tone could be a little more purple or red. So we'll go a bit that way. Yellows down the bottom here could be a bit more orange. Um, before we'll go um, back up top, we'll just bring down the exposure. Um, and let's bring up the blacks makes it a bit more smooth and adds more contrast so we can see more okay that's looking pretty good now what I'll do now is come all the way to the bottom to do a little bit of a vignette you can just see how it's a bit darker down the bottom and stuff like that so I think that looks good and then a bit of grain as well just a uh, maybe up the grain a bit. There is a bug. Oh no, it looks like the bug's been fixed. We can see the grain being added. Okay, so we'll just go for 30 something. There's quite a bit more, say, if we start in the highlights, blue in the highlights. So you can see how there's blue on her face over in her image. So we want this nice blue throughout the entire highlights. So uh, 233, let's slide this up. Then we get that blue tones throughout the image. But then in the shadows, you can see we're a bit warmer in the shadows, only very subtly. So shadows, we are going to 422 or 42. We're going to add in some warmth, just a bit. 
And then we just look to saturate the blues and stuff. So let's just come up here. Blue. Maybe greens. Yellows. Not many yellows, but down the bottom there. Oranges. Just trying to match it up. Stay there. Blues could be ever so slightly more purple. So hue. Uh, and then HSL. So this is the brightness of colors. We want a pop to those blues. You can see what that does. So just a bit of brightness. Aquas, that as well. Let's look for greens. Come up a bit. Yellows. You can really see like on her jacket there how much that comes out. Oranges. And I quite often see this where people drop the luminance of the reds. And that's what we're going to do in this one. So let's just drop them a bit. All right, and we are done. So let's reset. Um, this is what it looked like before. And then we go after, before, after. And I'd say key takeaways is probably curves here. So turning off and on, you can see how much color that introduces in fade it introduces maybe a little bit of contrast also but yeah that's probably the most important thing for the style i'd say clarity for that soft look it sort of goes well with the soft fade as well highlights down yeah to get a bit more detail but the flatness of the image um luminance plays a bit of a role we'll remove chromatic aberration and as for sharpening we'll just bring sharpening up a bit but also bring up the masking hold option and we'll bring it up to about there after and yeah that's it so her links in the description just go over there let her know you found her through this tutorial uh i honestly really love her style and if you want to learn directly from her join the course where there is over a hundred guest editor lessons now uh, where you get the raw image you get the preset you follow exactly how they edit their photos get their colors get their styles and then in other sections of the course we're breaking down what's the differences between these styles why do some styles depend on the curves why do why do some styles use different curves stuff like that the real nitty gritty stuff around editing is what we cover in other parts of the course yeah it's really growing to a really massive thing now comment who you want to see on this youtube channel so i can invite them on so i can try to replicate one of the edits don't forget the course is also very helpful for your video color grader exact same concepts of mastering color apply to video so that's going to be tremendously helpful for you as well and yeah follow the course instagram page um follow myself and yeah catch you in the next one why would you say someone should go for my course rather than someone else's i just think it's the level of depth and detail uh, to is is massive firstly cool so if you just want to look at someone do it and and kind of repeat it without a load of understanding go on someone else's course if you really want to understand something in depth so you can apply it and get and become creative to make your own shots make your own style 100 percent your, your course it's the only one that has that much depth and, and insight into the thinking process also the raws actually i, I think are really have some of them where you've applied at it so you can reset it um, mm. and then try it out yourself. And then the actual ones that you're demonstrating, the, the fact that you include the creator's rules as well, I was really like happy, but like being able to see like, oh, this is what that shot looked like in camera. And then seeing his editing process helps you find, you know, shots that you might not have seen otherwise. So I, I find that creates a lot of transparency you know, other courses don't necessarily have.